It's a wonderful day to everyone. Today, we're going to discuss the research process. But before we start, let me show you the objective of today's lesson. At the end of this presentation, you should be able to describe the nature of the research process, state the various steps in the research process, describe each step in the research process, and explain the importance of each step in the research process. What is a research process? The research process is a cyclic process. Most of the time, the conclusion that is reached at the end of an investigation leads to other problems which other researchers may undertake in the future. Opportunities for more inventions and discoveries arise from the cyclic nature of research. In essence, it perpetuates the dynamic nature of science and ensures its continuous growth. The research process, like any other processes, is made up of several steps. Each step leads logically to the next one. The time it takes to each of each depends upon on the kind of problem being investigated, the experience of the researcher, and the availability of resources needed for the study. The steps in the research process are essentially the same as those in the scientific method. The scientific method is a sequence of problem-solving skills that scientists use to answer questions or problems. Some of these skills include identifying a problem, formulating a hypothesis, doing library research, observing, performing experiments, analy analyzing data, drawing conclusions, and communication results. Separate video clips were made to discuss in detail the scientific method. Steps in the research process. Identification of a research problem. A problem identified by the researcher keeps him focused throughout the entire research process. It is the basis of all subsequent research activities he is going to undertake. It guides him to the hypothesis, work plan, interpretation of findings, and finally, to the conclusion. Each of the steps in the process and its corresponding output is deemed necessary and useful as it relates to the problem. One of the evaluation criteria used to judge the, the success of the, research, of the research is the significance of the identified problem. Formulation of a hypothesis After identifying a problem, an investigator proceeds to formulating a hypothesis relevant to the problem. The hypothesis serves as a tentative solution to the problem prior to any experimentation. More importantly, it also serves as a guide to the research work plan or design. A hypothesis is tested by conducting the actual experimentation. A hypothesis is an, is an educated guess. It is a tentative answer to a research question or problem. It may be based on factual knowledge, ex experiences, and observations. A hypothesis can be defined as a process to an a possible answer to a problem based on gathered information. Review of related literature. In some cases, a research problem is not immediately recognized or identified. It requires preliminary survey of research or related literature. By reading through various publications and surfing the internet, we become aware of the previous works already done. In fact, it could even spur an idea or two that can be the subject of a research investigation. Experienced researchers also go through this step just to ensure that they are not duplicating other people's studies unless they are. There is a need to validate the findings with more advanced detection and measuring techniques. Preparation of a research design. A research design is necessary because it functions as the work plan for the research investigation. It specifies not only the resources needed 
for the study but also indicates how the resources will be utilized to answer the problem. A more comprehensive form of research work can be, pre can be prepared. It is called a research proposal. Professional researchers usually send research proposals to funding agencies or institutions to obtain financial support for their study. The research proposal contains not only the research design, but also the timetable for actual investigation and breakdown of expenses for each phase of the actual experimentation. The research design is being prepared to systematize the work during actual experimentation. It maximizes the research output since there is a plan to follow and revise if necessary. The researcher knows what experiments to do as soon as, this, as he steps into the laboratory. Furthermore, only relevant data will be collected since the research design specifies in detail how and what data should be obtained. A valid research design is the basis for the validity of the entire research. Actual experimentation. Actual experimentation is an implementation of the research work plan or design. An experiment is an activity that generates observations or data which upon processing and analysis result to the solution of the research problem or generate further studies. Data analysis and interpretation. Unorganized and unprocessed data are tedious to look at and deal with. It is also difficult to summarize them into meaningful statements. Data gathered or are organized into tables and graphs be before they are analyzed using statistical methods. The statistical conclusions can be explained further in terms of the research objectives and this explanation is simpler presentation of the meaning of the statistical conclusions. Formulation of a conclusion. A conclusion summarizes the significant results of the experiment. Just like any activity with a beginning, research must come to an end and thus a conclusion must be stated for each research. In many cases, the conclusion does not only end the research but also suggests future questions left unanswered in the course of the investigation. These unresolved questions lead to new researches Knowing the objectives and the conclusions, the reader can evaluate the merit of the completed research. Again, these are the steps in the research process. Problem. Formulating hypothesis. Review of literature. Preparation of a research design. Actual experimentation, data analysis and interpretation, and formulation of a conclusion.